Hey there, Rock and Roll Junkies. Charlie here with another Grey Wolf first impression of the series where I listen to an album once and then give my ideas, thoughts, and impressions after just one listen. So for this episode, we have Accept with their new album, The Rise of Chaos. Now, I'll start off by saying I've never actually listened to anything of modern Accept. In other words, I've never listened to anything outside of the classic 80s Udo era, except. So, I, I didn't know this album was coming out until recently when they released the lyric video for Kool-Aid. And at that point, I realized, oh, except is releasing a new album. I've never listened to anything by the current band, so maybe I should check this one out. Because I've heard great things about Blood of the Nations, but I haven't heard that yet. Unfortunately, I thought, you know, I might as well start here. So this is my first basically, you know, going into the current modern Accept lineup and sound. You know, I went into it kind of interested in, in this, but I wasn't really that hyped for it. So let's get into this track by track, my first impressions. We start off with the song Die by the Sword. Now, it has like this slow, spooky intro, which I think is pretty cool. And then it breaks into that riff. And you know, the bass kicks in and it's just really good. Mark sounds great here. Now I've never listened to an album with him, but I have seen footage of him singing live and I think he's a great replacement for Udo. You know, he really does his own thing and he sounds really, really, really good. He sounds like Udo mixed with Brian Johnson, which he gives, you know, except this cool little edge, which I really like. He sounds great on the old songs and on this new song, he sounds pretty good here. Uh, this song has a good chorus, like, you know, a really fun chorus, uh, has a fantastic solo, and for my first listen, I'm quite impressed with this. I think they did a pretty good job on this one. So let's go to number two. This is Hole in the Head. Uh, it has great guitars and drums, and I just love the sound of the bass on this. Uh, it has great lyrics. It's a simple song. You know, it's nothing mind-blowing, but I think it's, it's quite good. I think it's pretty good, this one. But now we move into number three, three, which is the title track, The Rise of Chaos. Uh, this song describes like this chaotic, apocalyptic world. It has great drums. I really dig the riffs and the solo on this one. The chorus though is a little, uh, just a little bit repetitive. Uh, you know, it's not bad though, the song. And I hope to spend more time with this one because after my first listen, I, 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 I think it was, okay you know as i said it wasn't anything mind-blowing but these first three songs are decent enough i don't think they're anything spectacular but they're, they're good enough you know now let's go into number four cool aid now this song i did hear before as i said in the lyric video and when i saw that video i didn't like this song at all i didn't like it i didn't like the title I didn't like um, the lyrics, I just didn't like the whole groove of the song. But now hearing it again, I've slightly changed my mind. Uh, I think it has a cool intro with the riffs. Um, great bass on this. I like the lyrics. Now I like the lyrics a little bit more. I'm not a big fan of the whole don't drink the Kool-Aid aspect of it. It just comes off a bit silly that they would write a song around that, you know, saying or, or phrase, don't drink the Kool-Aid. It's just, you know, it's just somewhat silly of uh, Accept or any band to do that. Um, but I do like it more than before. I will say that. And I, I enjoy the solo. And I like the song a little bit more than before. I just still think it's somewhat a little too silly for me. So let's go into number five, No Regrets. It has this like public, public intro. It has a real cool solo. The song is okay. It didn't really move me. Per se. And of course, I found it to be a little bit too repetitive. They say no regrets way too much. And at this point in the album, I'm feeling that they're getting into this slump where it's all just starting to like blend together to like almost the same song. Everything's just starting to become a little bit a little bit too repetitive at this point. But now we move on to number six, Analog Man. Um, you know, I think it's pretty cool how the song starts off with a, like that effect of like something like rewind, rewinding like a tape or a cassette or something. And I think it's pretty cool. Uh, the lyrics are, um, again, they're just really, they're too silly for me to take really that serious. I mean, that being said, I really, really, really like the chorus. I think the chorus, like, all of the lyrics, I think are kind of like, eh, but when I get to the chorus, I really like the chorus. I think the chorus is really cool. 
um, this is my favorite chorus on this album thus far for my first listen. I would say this is my favorite chorus. It's just real fun to sing along to. Um, but the song just comes off as like a, this group of like old men complaining about technology. That's what that's what I just heard from it. You know about how they want to go back to analog and like digital. Um, you know you make. Nowadays, you're getting hacked and, and things like on Twitter. It's just the references. We're like, this just comes off like a bunch of old men whining. And I don't know. I just don't like accept doing that. I mean, they've done such other good stuff. But they're talking now about current things like, like getting hacked. It just comes off a little t too silly for me. It just, it's just kind of lame. Um, I mean, but the song does have a nice groove to it. If only they had just worked on this a little bit better or have written about something else, I think it would have been much better off. But let's go into number seven, which is what's done is done. I, I, it's really sad, but at this point, I'm really starting to feel the whole downfall of this album. This song is just really forgettable. It's, it's just filler to me, and it's just it's way too repetitive. And it didn't move me, unfortunately. It didn't do anything for me. I just feel like it's there. And it's just it just feels like another song in the machine. Another uh, song that's just blending in with the rest of this. And it's just very unfortunate for me. But let's go into number eight. Worlds Colliding. It's, it's better than the last one. I will say that. But it's still not anything, you know, that great. It's not doing much for me. I, I really dig the solo, though, on this one. But that's all I can say. For worlds colliding again i still feel like this is just more of the same which is very very sad but let's go into now number nine carry the weight nope still 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 not doing anything for me i just doesn't pop me up or, or or move me i get the whole message about you know carrying the weight you shouldn't carry the weight on your back you know who also did a song about carrying the weight on your back Metallica with Atlas Rise and I think Atlas they did it better. Atlas Rise just is a better song than this one. This one just comes off very just generic. And uh, this is again it becomes way too repetitive at one point. And uh, it's just I get more to the same, more of the same repetitiveness, and I just don't really like it for that reason. Let's go into number 10, Race to Extinction. Now this is the final song on here. Um, this one doesn't really interest me, which doesn't surprise me at this point. Uh, it has a nice message though, I think that's pretty cool, I just find it boring. I you know, the solo is cool, but the solo isn't enough to hook me to listen to the song, or to like really, really dig it. So, you know, that being said, let me just summarize this quite quick. I was really disappointed with this one. And that's considering I went in with like very low expectations, because I didn't know what to expect, because I didn't listen to this lineup and you know but I do know except I know their 80s output and I know Wolf at least is capable of creating some great classic heavy metal riffs and anthems and just rocking choruses and this wasn't it for so for that reason I kind of did go in expecting this something at least similar to the 80s Udo except I didn't get that I just found this album to be a little bit generic, uh, just boring, repetitive, monotonous, and it's very sad because the first three songs, although not mind-blowing, I did enjoy them for the most part. I think they were pretty good. Not great, but pretty good, but then after those three songs, it just really goes downhill. It just becomes kind of like you're going through the motions and just everything's repetitive and it's like, let's just repeat this over and over and over again. And, you know, it's really sad because I was expecting to hear something like the classic 80s era stuff, you know, but I didn't get that. I didn't get that. But that being said, I will check out Blood of the Nations because everybody talks so much good about that. It has to be better than this. It really does. I hope that this one is just like a misstep in their career and they can come back and do something, you know, closer to the 80s or to how from what I've heard from the people of Blood of the Nations. Now, I know they've done more albums than just Blood of the Nations. I think this is the fourth one, I believe. I'm not sure. I, I will listen to all those other ones, and I hope it's it's not like this one. I really do hope it's not. But then again, this is my first impression. It's just one listen. I will spend more time with this album, give it you know more chances. I hope that with time, 
Uh, some of these songs will grow on me, but I know that some of them won't because just some lyrical things and some choices made on this are just things that I don't like. But that being said, would I recommend this album? Um, personally, no, I wouldn't. Because just from that first listen, I just I just felt it to be very generic. But if you're a hardcore fan of the current Accept lineup, I feel you should check it out because you maybe might understand this better than me, who, ha who doesn't know current Accept that well. But for anyone who hasn't heard Accept, I would just recommend the 80s Udo era to listen to first before this one, or even, you know, I'm just saying this all the hype, Blood of the Nations. Um, but that being said, this was my first impression. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this, I like the video, you can subscribe for, I do also full on reviews, I do more first impressions. That being said, remember to stay metal, stay devil, and stay evil. Alright.